but you are taking care of the me as well. As you're lightening yourself and getting rid of things, you're bringing your attention inwards to the watcher. And as your attention comes to the watcher, the me starts to disappear too. This me that is really worried, which is a thought, it's your mind. Your mind has created this false ident identification of who you think you are. Because if I ask you, who are you, you're going to give me a list. My name is Janet, and I'm a nurse, and I'm a mom, and I'm from Denmark, and I'm da-da-da-da. You're going to give me these things. But that's not who you are. So as your attention goes inwards through one-pointedness and you're looking at the witness, the one who's observing, the one who's in the movie, watching the movie, not what the movie is, the me starts to disappear inside you too. And as silence starts to take over, peace starts to take over, your fears begin to disappear because the fears are thoughts and emotions. Your anxiousness that you're missing out on the world starts to disappear. You begin to decondition yourself from thousands of years of conditioning you begin to turn towards home. Home means peace. It's warm. It's nice. There's a nice fireplace there. There's warm food. It's quiet. It's safe. So your attention starts going inwards towards yourself, towards the watcher. Your mind starts to become more quiet. And this anxiousness, this anxiety that is created, especially now, especially with younger generations, that you cannot be present. You cannot be here. And you have to do multitasking, uh, tasking, multitasking all the time, doing 20 different things. Because something inside you creates this anxiety that takes you outside of here, it begins to disappear. And try to surround yourself with the company of the wise. That's what Papaji always told me, seek the company of the wise. Find awakened beings who are centered in their own selves and hang out around them because they reflect back to you your own center and you come down in their company automatically. It mellows your mind down. The mind goes, starts to slow down and the awareness begins to expand. And then you're able to see your fears. And these fears are conditioned in you. Everything comes from the root chakra. Everything comes from the sense of being left out, the sense of being abandoned, the sense of loneliness. What will happen to me if I don't no longer have money? What will happen to me if people I love, they leave me? What will happen to me? It's me. There's this me, this thought of me, your identification with the wrong thing. That is so frightened 
And that's just a thought that's in your mind. And it's not real. It's an illusion. And my job is to make sure, make sure you see this. To help you recognize who you are. To help you recognize your power. To help you recognize what has become of you. Who you really are and who you think you are. And hopefully I will succeed. Or at least... I have tried. So we use being centered by turning the attention inwards and find the center, being still, being silent. We make that a daily practice, it's a necessity. It's absolutely a must. That's the attitude you must have. It's the food for your soul. Every day you have to feed the soul. As you feed your body, means you incorporate the practice of being quiet, you incorporate the practice of non-reaction, you don't react to things. Even if somebody walks into the room and say, you're an asshole, you're a bad mommy, you're irresponsible, you just don't, you get in a practice of not reacting to anything. You make that your daily practice, you will fail, and then you try again, and you will fail, and you try again. You practice not reacting. And you disconnect yourself from the news of the world. Because they're not there to serve you. They only activate your mind. You are focused on one thing. To awaken from the dream you're in. And the world with its issues is a part of that dream. It's the maya. It's illusion. It's not real. And as you are in the practice and in the business of quieting your mind and being centered and being still, you begin to, as you learn, not to ignore the world and its news, you also practice to ignore the news of your own mind. You begin to ignore your mind and pick up an attitude of what is happening in your mind. What you're thinking is none of your business. Your thoughts should become irrelevant. None of your business what you're thinking. Pick up that attitude and stick to it. Simply be ignorant to your thoughts. I have all kinds of thoughts. I had so many times on my foreign travels, waking up, seven, eight o'clock in the morning you wake up, it's almost mid-December, I'm in Sweden or Norway, it's dark. It doesn't light up till 9, 9.30 in the morning. I'm alone. I've been on the road for two months, going from one country to another country and another country. My back hurts. I'm not sleeping well. 